today's video, I'm going to provide you 17 teacher interview questions, each one with a high converting answer you can use right now for your upcoming interview. Great, let's jump right in. Question number one, tell me about yourself. Absolutely, I am a dedicated and enthusiastic individual with a passion for education and a strong desire to make a positive impact on students' lives. My journey in the field of education began when I completed my bachelor's degree in education from, then over here you can mention university or college name and even the date you graduated. Since then, I have been on a path to continuously improving my teaching skills and contribute to the learning experiences of students. Over the past few years, I have gained valuable teaching experience as a substitute teacher in various schools and classrooms. This experience has exposed me to diverse student populations, teaching styles, and educational settings, allowing me to adapt quickly and effectively to different environments. I believe that every student deserves a quality education, and I strive to create a supportive and inclusive classroom atmosphere where all students can thrive. My approach to teaching emphasizes the importance of clear communication, patience, and adaptability. I understand that each student has unique needs and learning styles, and I am committed to tailoring my lessons to accommodate those differences. Whether it's helping students with their assignments, maintaining classroom discipline, or fostering a love for learning, I take pride in my ability to engage students and inspire them to reach their full potential. In addition to my practical experience, I stay up to date with the latest educational strategies and technologies to enhance my teaching skills. I believe that being a substitute teacher is not just a job but a responsibility to support students in their educational journey and I take that responsibility seriously. I am a dedicated and adaptable substitute teacher with a passion for providing students with a positive and enriching learning experience. I am excited about the opportunity to contribute to your school's mission and work collaboratively with your staff to foster a nurturing and academically stimulating environment for students. Thank you for considering my application. Question number two, why do you or did you want to be a substitute teacher? I wanted to become a substitute teacher because I believe in the importance of education and the positive impact it can have on individuals and society as a whole. Teaching, even as a substitute, allows me to be a part of this meaningful process. I have a genuine passion for working with students and helping them learn. Being a substitute teacher gives me the opportunity to interact with a diverse range of students and grade levels. It allows me to experience various teaching environments and adapt my skills accordingly. This variety keeps the job interesting and fulfilling. Secondly, I understand that consistency in education is crucial, and sometimes regular teachers may be absent due to various reasons. As a substitute teacher, I can step in and ensure that students' learning continues without disruption. I see myself as a support system for both students and the school, helping to maintain a stable and productive learning environment. Furthermore, being a substitute teacher allows me to develop my teaching skills and gain valuable experience in the field of education. It enables me to explore different teaching methods and classroom dynamics. This continuous learning process is personally fulfilling and professionally enriching. I find satisfaction in being flexible and adaptable. Being a substitute teacher requires me to quickly adjust to new situations, connect with students, and deliver lessons effectively. This adaptability not only keeps me engaged but also helps me grow as an educator. My desire to be a substitute teacher stems from my passion for education, my commitment to consistency in learning, the opportunity for personal and professional growth, and my ability to be flexible and adaptable. I am excited about the chance to contribute positively to students' education and be a reliable support system for schools. Now, before we continue, don't forget to check out these videos which cover some of the most common interview questions. You can find links to these videos in the description below. Now, here's question number three. What methods do you think are most important in increasing student academic success and retention? Several methods are crucial in increasing student academic success and retention in the classroom. First, clear communication is vital. Teachers must explain lessons and instructions in a simple, understandable way to ensure that students grasp the content. This helps students better retain information. Active engagement is equally important. When students participate actively in the learning process through interactive activities, discussions, and hands-on experiences, they are more likely to retain the material. Differentiated instruction is another key method. Recognizing that students have diverse learning styles and abilities, teachers should tailor their teaching to meet individual needs. This approach ensures that all students have the opportunity to succeed and retain what they've learned. 
Periodic assessments help teachers gauge students' understanding and identify areas where they may need additional support. Providing timely feedback and opportunities for improvement motivates students to stay engaged and strive for academic success. I also believe when students feel safe, valued, and supported, they are more likely to stay engaged and persist in their studies. A positive atmosphere fosters retention. Lastly, encouragement and recognition are essential methods. Recognizing students' efforts and achievements, no matter how small, boosts their confidence and motivation. Positive reinforcement contributes to academic success and retention. In conclusion, the most important methods for increasing student academic success and retention include clear communication, active engagement, differentiated instruction, regular assessment, and a supportive classroom environment. Implementing these strategies creates a more effective and enriching learning experience for students. Question number four. Describe your teaching experience. For years, I served as a tutor and academic success coach for students in middle schools in New York City. After completing my student teaching assignment at the Global Middle School, I graduated with a bachelor's in childhood education with honors. From there, I was employed as a substitute teacher for the East Seneca School District, working in the district's middle schools. Last year, I was assigned as a long-term substitute for a teacher who left due to an emergency. In this position, I was teaching algebra and geometry classes for most of the school year. Not to mention, I also assisted the math department chairperson in expanding the school's math tutoring resources, providing the tutors with ongoing training in both math competency and peer mentoring skills. I am happy to mention that the students who utilize the tutoring services maintain math class averages over 10% higher than students who did not attend tutoring. Additionally, by the end of the year, my students used the math tutoring services at a rate of 23% higher than other math teacher students. That year, I was awarded the Substitute of the Year Award. The principal noted my efforts in increasing tutor usage as a key factor as she believed that tutoring was critical to improve math scores school-wide by the end of the academic year. I volunteer at a public library outside of school, where I run math tutoring services on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. In collaboration with the library's senior staff, I created the Math Tutoring Lab to aid students from K-12th through grade in mastering math from arithmetic to calculus. Now before we continue, please note, the above is just an example. We recommend replacing the subjects and education with your experience and completed education. Question number five. What subjects do you prefer to teach? Having served as a substitute for teachers in both elementary and middle schools, I have taught a range of subjects, particularly math, natural science, and English, all subjects I have enjoyed teaching. However, if I have to pick one, math is truly my teaching passion. I have extensive experience in this area ever since I completed a minor in math in college. I have also worked as a math tutor for the college's academic resource center, where I tutored undergraduates and graduate students in everything from algebra to calculus. I loved helping students gain an appreciation for math while also helping them overcome any fear or disinterest they held for math. After completing my master's degree in education, I started substituting for grades 7 through 12, most of my time teaching algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. I recently served as a long-term substitute at a middle school, replacing a teacher who is on leave until the end of this month. The math department provided me with an opportunity to start an end-of-day math lab where I provide tutoring to ensure students have all their questions answered before leaving. My goal is to ensure students will not get frustrated while completing homework and have the knowledge they need to excel in this subject. I am proud to say tutoring has paid off for those students who have attended my after-school program because it has improved their average in their respective math classes by an average of 17%. Now before we continue, the above answer is just an example. Remember to customize this answer with the subject you have specialized in and have experienced teaching. Question number six. What do you think makes a substitute teacher effective? An effective substitute teacher possesses several key qualities and approaches that contribute to their success in the classroom. I believe adaptability is crucial. Substitute teachers encounter various classroom settings, grade levels, and subject matters. Being flexible and capable of quickly adjusting to these diverse environments ensures a smooth transition for students and helps maintain a productive learning atmosphere. I also believe that clear communication is vital. Effective substitute teachers must convey lessons and instructions in a straightforward and understandable manner, ensuring that students grasp the material being taught. 
This facilitates better learning outcomes. Additionally, classroom management skills are essential. Substitute teachers need to establish clear expectations and enforce rules to maintain discipline and order. Creating a positive and respectful learning environment encourages students to engage in the lesson effectively. A teacher has to keep students actively involved in the learning process through various teaching methods, activities, and discussions is essential. It helps capture their interest and keeps them focused on the lesson. A solid understanding of the subject matter being taught allows substitute teachers to answer questions, provide valuable insights, and effectively convey the material to students. I also understand that an effective substitute teacher should be willing to work with other educators and school staff to ensure a cohesive educational experience for students, contributing positively to the school community. I believe an effective substitute teacher embodies qualities such as adaptability, clear communication, classroom management skills, student engagement strategies, flexibility, empathy, subject knowledge, professionalism, collaboration, and a positive attitude. These attributes enable substitute teachers to provide valuable support and maintain a productive educational environment for students in the absence of regular teachers. Question number seven, where do you see yourself in five years? This is a great question and one that I think about all the time. Teaching is my passion and I want to continue this journey long term helping my students achieve their career goals. As a substitute teacher, I have gained tremendous experience. I want to use this experience as a full-time teacher while specializing in other areas, which will open up other teaching opportunities for me. I do think about becoming a university professor one day. However, my five-year plan is to keep educating myself and building my experience to join your school district as a full-time teacher. Now, if this is your first substitute teaching experience, you can leave out the part that says, as a substitute teacher, I have gained tremendous experience. Question number eight. What would you say is your greatest strength? My greatest strength as a substitute teacher is my adaptability. I have the ability to quickly adjust to different classroom settings, grade levels, and teaching styles. This allows me to step into various educational environments and provide effective support to students and teachers alike. Adaptability is crucial in the role of a substitute teacher because every day can present new challenges and opportunities. I am prepared to handle unexpected situations and make the best of them. Whether I'm asked to teach a different subject, follow a specific lesson plan, or manage a classroom with diverse needs, I can easily adapt to meet those requirements. Furthermore, my adaptability extends to my interpersonal skills. I am skilled at building rapport with students and establishing a positive classroom atmosphere, even when I am not familiar with the students or the school. This helps create a conducive learning environment where students feel comfortable and engaged. Another aspect of my adaptability is my ability to step in seamlessly and maintain continuity in the absence of a regular teacher. I respect the teacher's plans and instructions while also bringing my own enthusiasm and energy to the classroom to ensure that students continue to learn and progress in their studies. To summarize, my greatest strength as a substitute teacher is my adaptability. I am versatile, able to handle various classroom scenarios, and skilled at building relationships with students. This strength allows me to be effective in providing educational support in different situations and ensures that students receive the best learning experience possible in the absence of their regular teacher. Question number nine. What would you say is your greatest weakness? My greatest weakness is sometimes having trouble saying no when asked to take on additional tasks or responsibilities. I tend to be a helpful and accommodating person, which can lead me to take on more than I can comfortably handle. While I genuinely want to assist and contribute to the school community, this weakness can sometimes result in me feeling overwhelmed or stretched too thin. To address this weakness, I have been working on better time management and setting clear priorities. I have learned to assess the importance and urgency of each task or request and prioritize accordingly. This helps me allocate my time and energy more effectively and ensures that I can fulfill my existing responsibilities while still being open to new ones when appropriate. I've also become more comfortable with the idea of politely declining additional tasks when I believe it would be detrimental to my ability to fulfill my core duties effectively. It's important to strike a balance between being helpful and ensuring that I can provide the best support to my students and colleagues. By recognizing this weakness and actively taking steps to manage it, I believe I can continue to grow as a substitute teacher and be more effective in the classroom. It's essential for me to maintain a healthy work-life balance and prioritize my primary responsibilities to provide the best educational experience for the students I serve. Question number 10. How do you prepare your teaching plan? 
and approach a typical teaching day. I ensure my teaching days are well structured with some gaps in my schedule to allow surprises, emergencies that may pop up. I review my teaching plans for the next day at night and ensure I have all my resources organized for my class. Throughout the day, I interact with students to determine if any of them have concerns about the teaching material that may hinder their ability to understand and or retain class material. I like to gain feedback from my students because this will help me shift my teaching plan in the future to better suit the needs of my students. For example, I will set aside time in class for students to ask questions and review upcoming homework assignments, quizzes, tests. This is also a great time to review my material and make changes to my plan if required. During lunch, I take time to relax and get refreshed. I end the day with office hours to tutor students or hold parent conferences. I will connect with my fellow teachers for updates that may require me to make changes in the next coming days, for example, conferences, school board policy changes, and more. As for the evening, after dinner, I will spend a few hours grading homework and preparing the next day's lesson plans. Question number 11. Teaching practices can change. What steps do you take to ensure you are up to date with these changes? To stay up to date with changes in teaching practices, I take several steps to ensure that my teaching remains effective and relevant. Firstly, I regularly engage in professional development opportunities. These can include workshops, seminars, and online courses that focus on new teaching methods, technologies, and educational trends. By participating in such activities, I can learn about innovative approaches and incorporate them into my teaching. Secondly, I keep myself informed by reading educational literature and staying updated with educational publications, both online and in print. This allows me to stay informed about the latest research findings, best practices, and pedagogical theories in the field of education. This knowledge helps me adapt my teaching methods to align with current educational trends. Thirdly, I actively seek feedback from colleagues and supervisors. Collaborating with other educators allows me to learn from their experiences and share insights about effective teaching practices. Constructive feedback helps me identify areas for improvement and refine my teaching techniques. I regularly reflect on my own teaching methods and outcomes. Self-assessment is a crucial part of staying up to date because it enables me to evaluate what works well and what needs improvement in my teaching. I adjust my strategies accordingly to ensure that I meet the evolving needs of my students. Lastly, I am open to learning from my students. Their perspectives and needs are continuously changing, so I listen to their feedback and adjust my teaching approach based on their preferences and learning styles. I believe that staying up to date with changes in teaching practices is essential to being an effective substitute teacher. By engaging in professional development, staying informed through reading and research, seeking feedback, self-reflecting, and listening to my students, I ensure that I am continuously evolving and adapting my teaching methods to provide the best possible education to my students. Question number 12. How do you ensure you are up to date, current, on your subject specialization? Ensuring that I am current and up to date in my subject specialization is crucial to providing quality education as a substitute teacher. I take several steps to maintain my subject knowledge and expertise. Firstly, I regularly engage in ongoing learning and professional development related to my subject area. This includes attending workshops, seminars, and conferences that focus on advancements and updates in the field. These events help me stay informed about the latest developments and changes in my subject specialization. Secondly, I make it a point to read relevant academic literature and textbooks. By keeping up with scholarly articles and textbooks, I can deepen my understanding of the subject and stay abreast of new research findings and concepts. Additionally, I seek out online resources and educational websites that provide valuable information and materials related to my subject specialization. The internet offers a wealth of resources, including educational videos, articles, and forums where I can access the latest information and engage in discussions with fellow educators. Furthermore, I maintain connections with other educators and professionals in my subject area. Collaborating and networking with colleagues allows me to exchange ideas, share resources, and stay informed about emerging trends and practices in my field. I also take advantage of any opportunities for advanced coursework or additional training in my subject area. These courses help me deepen my knowledge and expertise and ensure that I am well prepared to teach the subject effectively. Lastly, I regularly assess and update my curriculum and teaching materials to incorporate the most current information and teaching strategies. This ensures that I am providing my students with the most relevant and up-to-date content in my subject specialization. 
In conclusion, staying current in my subject specialization is a priority for me as a substitute teacher. By actively engaging in ongoing learning, reading, utilizing online resources, networking with peers, pursuing additional training, and updating my teaching materials, I can ensure that I am well informed and equipped to deliver a high quality education to my students in my subject area. Question number 13. Describe a challenging time you faced in a classroom and how did you overcome this challenge? In a classroom, I once faced a challenging situation when I encountered a disruptive student who was consistently disruptive during lessons. This student often interrupted the class, made negative comments, and created a distracting atmosphere for the other students. It was essential to address this issue effectively to maintain a positive learning environment. To overcome this challenge, I took several steps. Firstly, I tried to understand the underlying reasons for the student's behavior. I observed that the student seemed to be seeking attention and was struggling with the subject matter. Recognizing this, I decided to approach the student privately to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. During our discussion, I expressed empathy and understanding for their difficulties and frustrations. I also provided additional support and resources to help them catch up with the class material. This personalized attention helped the student feel more valued and supported, which reduced their disruptive behavior. Additionally, I implemented a clear and consistent classroom management plan that included established rules and consequences for disruptive behavior. I communicated these rules to the entire class, ensuring that everyone understood the expectations for behavior in the classroom. By consistently enforcing these rules, I created a more structured and orderly learning environment. I maintained open communication with the students' parents or guardians, sharing updates on their progress and any improvements in behavior. This collaboration between school and home helped ensure a unified approach to addressing the students' challenges. Lastly, I encouraged positive behavior and participation from the students by offering praise and recognition when they displayed improved behavior or actively engaged in the lessons. This positive reinforcement motivated the student to continue making better choices in the classroom. In the end, by addressing the disruptive behavior with empathy, providing additional support, implementing a clear classroom management plan, maintaining communication with the student's family, and using positive reinforcement, I was able to overcome the challenging situation and create a more conducive learning environment for all students in the classroom. Question number 14. How do you include parents and guardians in their child's education? I include parents and guardians in their child's education by maintaining open and consistent communication with them. Communication is essential to keep parents and guardians informed and involved in their child's educational journey. I start by establishing a positive and welcoming atmosphere at the beginning of the school year or when I enter a new classroom. I introduce myself and share my contact information, including email and phone numbers so that parents and guardians feel comfortable reaching out to me with any questions or concerns. I also schedule regular parent-teacher conferences to discuss the child's progress and address any specific issues or areas of improvement. During these meetings, I provide feedback on the child's performance, share their strengths and weaknesses, and collaborate with parents and guardians to set goals and strategies for improvement. In addition to formal meetings, I send out periodic updates and newsletters to keep parents and guardians informed about classroom activities, assignments, and important dates. These updates help parents and guardians stay engaged and aware of what is happening in their child's education. Furthermore, I am responsive to parent and guardian inquiries and concerns. I make an effort to promptly reply to emails or phone calls and address any questions or issues they may have. This open line of communication helps build trust and ensures that parents and guardians feel valued as partners in their child's education. Lastly, I encourage parental involvement in school events and activities. I inform parents and guardians about opportunities to participate in parent-teacher associations, attend school meetings, or volunteer in the classroom when appropriate. These activities provide parents and guardians with a sense of ownership and connection to their child's school experience. Overall, my approach to including parents and guardians in their child's education is based on open communication, regular updates, collaborative goal setting, responsiveness, and opportunities for involvement. This ensures that parents and guardians are active partners in their child's learning journey, which can contribute to the child's overall academic success and well-being. Question number 15. As a substitute teacher, how do you manage a teacher's curriculum? Adherence to the teacher's curriculum, lesson plans is instrumental in assuring that the class runs smoothly and the learning goals are achieved. 
Fortunately, many teachers have a lesson plan ready for substitute teachers if they have to call in sick or leave due to an emergency. As a substitute teacher brought in to take over a class, the first thing I would do is review the teacher's lesson plan. However, if no lesson plan is available for me, I have two options. First, speak with students to find out what was covered in previous classes. My experience in this subject matter will allow me to transition into the following sections without any concern. However, I also keep my lesson plan available for these situations. My lesson plans include classroom activities, pop quizzes, subject games, and more. Depending on the situation and my experience, I can speak to another teacher teaching the same subject in the school to get their feedback. Finally, I always like to encourage students to ask questions about the homework they have completed the night before. By doing this, I also get a better idea of what they are currently learning in class. Question number 16. What strategies and methods do you use to keep students engaged or even focused as a substitute? To keep students engaged and focused as a substitute teacher, I employ various strategies and methods. For example, I ensure that my instructions are easy to understand and that I communicate the goals and expectations for the lesson clearly. When students know what is expected of them, they are more likely to stay engaged. I encourage active participation by asking questions, promoting discussions, and involving students in hands-on activities or group work. When students have the opportunity to be actively involved in the learning process, they are more likely to stay focused. I use a mix of teaching methods, such as lectures, group activities, multimedia, and interactive lessons to cater to different learning styles and keep the classroom dynamic and interesting. I provide positive feedback and praise when students demonstrate good behavior, participate, or achieve milestones in their learning. Positive reinforcement motivates students to stay engaged and make an effort. Visual aids like charts, diagrams, and educational videos can make lessons more engaging and help students grasp complex concepts more easily. I relate the lesson content to real-life situations or examples that students can connect with. When they see the practical application of what they're learning, it keeps them engaged and interested. I remain flexible and adaptable in my teaching approach, recognizing that different classes and students may require different strategies to stay engaged. In conclusion, my strategies to keep students engaged and focused as a substitute teacher involve clear communication, active participation, a variety of teaching methods, positive reinforcement, visual aids, real-world relevance, short breaks, effective classroom management, individualized attention, and flexibility in my approach. These methods aim to create a stimulating and supportive learning environment that promotes engagement and active learning. And here's the final interview question, number 17. Why should we hire you? You should hire me as a substitute teacher because I possess the qualities and skills that are essential for this role and can effectively contribute to your school's educational goals. I am dedicated and reliable. I take my responsibilities seriously and understand the importance of maintaining a consistent and stable learning environment in the absence of regular teachers. You can count on me to be punctual and present when needed, ensuring that the educational process continues smoothly. I have a strong passion for teaching and a genuine desire to help students learn and succeed. I believe that education is a key foundation for a brighter future, and I am committed to being a positive influence on students' academic journeys. Additionally, I am adaptable and flexible. I can quickly adjust to different grade levels, subjects, and teaching styles, ensuring that I can effectively fill in for teachers across various classrooms. My ability to connect with students and engage them in learning activities is a valuable asset. I am a good communicator. I can effectively convey instructions and information to students in a clear and understandable manner. I also believe in open and constructive communication with school staff and administration, fostering a collaborative and supportive work environment. I am continuously working on improving my teaching skills and staying up to date with educational trends and best practices. I am open to feedback and committed to professional growth, ensuring that I provide the best possible educational experience to students. You should hire me as a substitute teacher because of my dedication, reliability, passion for teaching, adaptability, communication skills, and commitment to ongoing improvement. I am ready and eager to contribute positively to your school's educational mission and support both students and staff in their educational endeavors. If you want to learn more on how to land jobs and reach your career goals, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button to get new videos every single week. Also, don't forget to hit that like button because that motivates me to keep doing what I do. Stay safe, keep smiling, and good luck.